when creating a new level we will need to go to the project browser in the project browser we will need to locate the elevations views we are going to create our new levels in the north elevation in order to activate the north elevation we will need to double click where it says north elevation in the north elevation you should already see two levels level one and level two looking at the front elevation this line represents the grade this line represents the finished floor one and this line represents the finished ceiling to add a level to the north elevation we will need to select the architecture tab in the architecture ribbon we will need to find the section of the ribbon that says datum in the datum section of the ribbon we will need to activate the level command to activate the level command we will select it we will bring our cursor into the north elevation window and bring our cursor to line up with the two existing levels you will notice that when the cursor lines up with the two existing levels a, da a dashed line will appear I will do a left mouse button click to start the creation of the level I will drag the cursor over to the right until the bubble lines up with the existing two levels once that occurs I will do another left mouse button click to create the level to end the level command I will go to my modify button in my ribbon this will deactivate the level command next what I want to do is rename these levels looking at the front elevation this line represents the grade this line represents the finished floor one and this line represents the finished ceiling so for level one level one should be renamed to say grade so in order to rename the level I will just double click in the name highlight it and type in the name grade and press enter here it will ask me do I want to rename the corresponding views I will say yes what would happen is in the project browser you will notice that level one under the floor plans has changed to grade as well as under the ceiling plans has changed to grade I also want to change the name of level two so I will double click on the name the name for level two will be changed to say finish floor one I will press enter and the same dialog box will appear I will say yes the level above finish floor one will be renamed to say finish ceiling one so I'll double click on the name type in finish ceiling one and press enter so for the superstructure of the project that you're working on these are the three levels you will have for the superstructure grade finish floor one and finish ceiling one after renaming the levels with the appropriate names the next step is to put the appropriate distance between the levels 
between finish floor one and the grade we will need to make sure we have at least one foot between the finish floor one and the grade in order to do this I will need to select finish floor one you should see some dimensions appear between finish floor one and the grade these are called temporary dimensions I will edit the temporary dimension between finish floor one and the grade by selecting the dimension here after selecting this dimension I will type in one foot and press enter this will create one foot of distance between the finish floor one and the grade in order to determine the distance between finish floor one and finish ceiling one I will need to refer to the construction documents provided for the Essex project in the construction documents on page seven I will be able to locate the front elevation for the front elevation I will zoom in on the front elevation in order to locate the dimension necessary for the distance between the finished floor finished floor one which is the top of subfloor and the finished ceiling one which is the bottom of the truss in that the dimension I am looking for is the eight feet one and a half inches I can also find this if I go to page 12 of the construction documents in the typical wall detail so if I look at the typical wall detail I will also be able to identify the distance between the subfloor and the bottom of the truss to be 97 and a half inches which is equivalent to 8 feet 1 and a half inches so to put in the appropriate distance between finished ceiling one and finished floor one I will need to select the finished ceiling one level I will change the temporary dimension to say 8 feet 1 and 1 half inches and press enter that will establish the distance between the finished ceiling one and the finished floor one acquired from the front elevation and the typical wall section in my construction documents to assure that the distances between these levels stay as indicated what you will need to do is on the temporary dimension you will see an icon this look, looks like a dimension symbol this will allow you to convert the temporary dimension into a permanent dimension so in order to do so I will click on the icon beside the dimension this will convert this dimension into a permanent dimension and then I want to lock this dimension so I will select the dimension line and a lock should appear and I will lock this dimension this will make sure that the dimension that is set it will stay that way unless this icon is unlocked so you would do the same thing for the distance between the grade and the finished floor one if I select finished floor one if I zoom in you'll be able to see that same icon appear beside the one foot distance between finished floor one and the grade I will click on the dimension symbol and then click on the dimension and lock it these are the levels and the distances between the levels for the levels in the superstructure for the Essex project.